Hi, my name is Zoya Chaudhary and my exhibition at Art Outreach is called Presenting Pastness. These cutout surfaces are like filters of perception for me, which you can look at but look through. Everyone has filters of perception and everyone sees things differently. And my whole idea was how these filters get constructed. They are not only constructed by lived experiences, but also by media. So I was always interested in taking like the news and the public narrative that is given to us. So I started archiving media news from the time because I started this work during COVID because what uh, influenced how we felt during a day was uh, what we were reading about what was happening in the world and it wasn't that much the lived experience because we couldn't see that much locally but you know but what we read about things so then I started archiving and most of the artworks here have been um, named after a certain day which basically uh, coincides with the news article or newspaper that I've used to create the artwork. The news, news has been pasted on canvas and then scratched and, and uh, basically cut and painted. These works are basically a material outcome of the fragility of time, space and fleeting emotions. So it is about taking media, news media and creating this uh, textuality over it so that the final outcome is very material. So this installation is called Tracing Together. Uh, I collected images from Singapore residents through an open call where I asked them to submit uh, images of what was their memory of uh, escape during COVID and especially uh, in Singapore we had certain restrictions during like a two-year period so I collected those images people submitted them online and I uh, I started tracing them so I have traced uh, on what how they traced their own memories some people share a lot of interesting images like this uh, girl actually was proposed on a Zoom call. There are a few actually from TWC, which is like an NGO. They shared like the migrant workers and there are images of their uh, dormitories and things and how they lived and collected water. And there were long queues of collecting water. They had made many of these TikTok videos where they would shoot like things around the dormitory and then they would like have songs which were really funny which were like Tamil songs talking about their situation and that sort of a thing so um, yeah so it was a very interesting experience actually taking a peek into stories which were closer to home as opposed to the news and the things coming from outside I would uh, want uh, people to come and see the artworks through their own sort of perception and think about their own filters and filters of perception that they might have and it kind of uh, creates this sort of empathy as well when you are you think that you know what you think is not the only way like everyone has their own sort of way everyone's coming from a different uh, background and everyone's coming from a different sort of uh, place. My uh, experience with Heart was amazing actually. I've learned a lot in this process from the time I got in and then to apply for the AEL license, setting up the space, getting the installer, getting marketing material and you know I wouldn't have done that if the gallery was doing it for me. I think I have learned quite a bit and I can have my own exhibition anywhere. <laughs>